in action. There are many things to crawl in the night, and on this dark monsoon threatening evening, the crew and I were headed out into Arizona's Sonoran Desert to find such things. Our mission was to search out a dry, walkable wash, which is an area that water flows through the desert during a monsoon. A wash is a great place to look for creatures at night because animals would use it as a highway to either move up and down, or they have to cross it, moving from one section of the desert to another. And we're looking for a wash so that we can travel down it and hopefully encounter some cool creatures. One of the most likely candidates has been causing nightmares for centuries, and if we located a giant arachnid, the goal would be to get the cameras up close, and myself even closer. All sorts of little holes down here, uh, but I don't see anything yet. So the reason that I'm shining my light down the length of the wash is that spider's eyes reflect light in the dark, and this will actually give them away and give me the advantage to get close to one and hopefully get my hands on it. All right, let's keep going and see if we can find one. Oh, got a good set of eyes. Here you go, get the light on, get the light on. Got movement right up here by this rock. Look at that. Finally. All night, I thought all we were gonna find is anthill mounds. And there you have it. One big spider. Wow. Okay, just kinda approach slow. That is a tarantula. Wow, we have been out here searching for what? A solid two hours now. See nothing but ants and moths flying around by our lights. And just when I thought we weren't gonna come across anything, you have it right here. And it is, this is a desert blonde tarantula. It's a male, and the way I can tell is that the males have dark brownish black legs, females have light tan legs, and this is about as big as they get. Males grow a little bit larger than the females. Now, I wanna stay as calm as possible in this situation. If I stay calm, the animal will stay calm and they actually use all these little hairs on their legs to kind of sense the ground as they're walking so it can feel all the vibrations in the ground. And you see that little defensive pose right there? He's pointing his abdomen up in the air and you see all those tiny little furs on the back of the abdomen. You get too close to those and those little hairs kind of flick off and they really cause a real kind of nasty itching sensation. I know for those of you out there who have arachnophobia, this is probably your worst nightmare. Wow, that is a big spider right there. Look at that. What a handsome fella. I feel all those little tiny hairs on his legs crawling up my arm. Hold on, I don't want you going up there. No, nope, I don't want you going up there. Now he is up and on my back. Is he on my back? He's on your backpack. This is one of the most common species here in the Sonoran Desert. Thankfully, they don't eat coyotes. And where is he? Is he off? There he is. He's Where going is around. He's going oh, around cool. the corner. All right. All right. There we go. All right. I feel a little bit better now. now. These spiders are out this time of night. They're mostly nocturnal, trying to avoid the heat of the day by staying in burrows. And what they're looking for is insects. And a spider of this size could even take down small lizards or small rodents, believe it or not. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. All right. I'm going to put him down and gently pick him up so I can show you the underside and see if we can take a look at his fangs. But I wanna get him off of my arm for this. Come down here, buddy. There we go. Now this is in no way causing any injury to the spider. It just will allow me to kinda of get him up so you guys can see those fangs. I'll tell you what, if you're a moth or any of the other little bugs that run out here in this wash, you meet up with that set of fangs, it's gonna be the last meeting you ever have. I definitely don't want to be bitten by this spider. It is venomous, and it's not a venom that's really going to cause you any more discomfort than a bee sting, but still I want to be as careful as possible. Arachnophobia is one of the most common fears that people suffer from. Obviously, I'm not afraid of spiders, but I won't lie, holding a tarantula of this size definitely gets my heart racing. Have you guys ever seen a spider this big? Have you ever held a spider this big? Tell me about it in the comment section below. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, I'll put this big guy back into the wash so he can go feast on some beetles.
See you later, Fuzzy Butt. Hey, Coyote Pat, are you excited for the conclusion to my climb of the Insect Sting Pain Index? If so, learn more about these thrilling and painful adventures in my new book, The King of Sting. Look for the link in the description below. And don't forget, subscribe, then click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure.